Hey guys, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another Firebase Tutorials video. Actually from this video today, we are going to start a series on Google Firebase authentication system. So in the last video series, we talked about how to use email authentication system to let the user authenticate in our application. From now on from this video, we'll be talking about how to use Google sign in method to authenticate the user. So you may have seen these features in applications that they directly allow you to connect your Google account with your applications and you don't have to give any information because the application is automatically going to extract the data from your Google account. So that's what exactly going to implement on this application from now on. So in the step by step uh, procedure, we're going to implement everything and at last we will make an simple Android applications that will have the option to let the user create an account directly connecting to the Google account and we will uh, extract the data from the Google account. We will do whatever that we need to do afterwards. Okay. So uh, I'm going to start by creating an Android applications as you know, and uh, let's create the new empty project. Just give the name, whatever the name you want to give to your application. So here I'm going to give, I'm going to give the name as Google authentication and uh, let the any everything else to be at on default setting. Click on finished. Now the application will start building. The build is successful. Now I'm going to start by creating a activity that we need for our application. So here we only need two activity. One is main activity that we have, we already have here. And we also need one more activity that I want that is a login activity. And that same login activity will be used to log in and register the user. So we don't need to create another register activity like we did in the email authentication system that we did the last video series. Okay. And in that login activity, we will have the button uh, that says, uh, if you want to create an account or login, click on that button. Okay. And one, when the user click on that Google sign in button, we will display the dialogue that will let the user choose account. So if the user have multiple Google account in connected to his Android application, he can select the Gmail account that he wants to connect to our application. And once the user click on that, we will extract the data, reg uh, register the user in our application. And simultaneously, we are going to create a Google Fire Auth instance and we're going to insert that user to our google fire face authentication system so that user can either log in through the email or log in using the google account okay so as i said let's create the required layouts and the class files activity files so first i'm going to create the login activity so let's create new activity from here and select the empty activity and I'm going to name this as login activity. And let me uh, check this as launcher activity because this login activity is the first thing that we want user to be able to see when they open our application. The login layer activity is created now. And before doing anything, I want to start by connecting our application to the Firebase. So let me connect this application to the Firebase. To connect our application to the Firebase, we can use Firebase Assistant from the tools. So let me go to tools and click on Firebase and we will see a lot of options here. And since here we need Firebase authentication, so I'm gonna add the Firebase authentication to our application. Before that, I need to connect Firebase. So if you have used this uh, Android Studio to connect your other Firebase applications, you will directly see something like this. But if you are doing this for the first time, you won't see anything here. I mean, it will open the browser. There you can log into your Firebase account and afterward you will see something like this. And once you come to this dialogue, either you can create new Firebase project or you can connect to existing application. But the problem is Google do not allow creating more than two applications in one account. So that's why I am gonna need to connect to the existing application. So let me go here and click on one of my applications that I have here. So in the Firebase blog, I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect this application. So click on connect to Firebase and it will connect my application to the Firebase. Okay, the my app is connected now. You can see the connected message here. And now I'm gonna add the required dependencies into my application, accept changes, and it will start the Gradle sync process. Once that is done, we are good to go. Okay, beside this Google Firebase dependencies, we also need one more dependencies for Google Play service because we are using 
the Google sign in and we also need to integrate the feature of Google Play service. So we also need to add Google Play service to our application. So I'm going to go to the Gradle file of my module application module and inside this application module. Let me uh, minimize that uh, you can see we have this Firebase auth dependencies just after this I'm going to add the Google Play service dependency. I I'm going to link this dependencies URL in the description so you can copy from there and also new version of Firebase is available here. So I'm going to change that. Now I'm going to sync the project and after that we are ready to implement the Google sign in into our application. Now there is one more steps that we need to follow before we can use this Google sign in to our application. That is we need to use the Google APIs because we need uh, OAuth 2.0 here. So we need to use Google APIs so that our application can redirect and authenticate with the Google server. Okay. So to do that, we need to create Google APIs project and there we need to connect our application. So open the browser and uh, use the same email address that you have used to uh, connect to the Firebase. So I'm going to open my browser. Please make sure you are following these steps very carefully because if you make any mistakes here, you cannot log into your application later on. So we will encounter some error. So make sure that you are following this correctly here. And now I'm going to change my account here. So I'm going to use the same account that I have used for the Firebase account. Okay. After this, we need to go to this particular URL here. This URL will let our application to connect with our Google API service. To, to start the integrating Google sign in to our applications, we need to generate the SHA1 certificate. And after that, we need to connect our application to that particular certificate. Okay. As it said here, we need these dependencies. So we just added that. And now, uh, after uh, coming back here, make sure that you are using the same account that used for the Google Firebase. Now I'm going to scroll down here and click on configure a project. After that, we need to select the project. So you need to select the same Firebase project that we uh, connected our application to. So let me click on this Firebase block because that is the project that I connected my application to. Now click on next. And after this, we need to select the Android here. And once you select the Android, it will give the two field that we need to field. And that is one is the package name. So let me go my go to my applications here. And I'm going to select my package name. So let me go to the manifest file. I'll go to the manifest file. And here I have this package name for my Android application. Copy that. Go back here. Paste it here. And now we need to generate the SHA1 signing certificate. Okay. So to generate this SHA1 signing certificate, we need to follow the few command. So uh, let me show you the command that we, we need to follow. Let me open one URL here. And here we need to use this key tool command to generate the SHA1 fingerprint like this. So uh, I'm going to open the command prompt. So from here, I'm going to generate the SHA1 certificate and make sure that you are doing it right. Because if you give a wrong SHA1 fingerprint here, you are going to get error. Okay. So let me go to the Java folder. Okay. Inside the bin folder of Java directory, we have the key tool. So uh, inside this, I need to write the same command. So I'm going to write the same command again. Now give the key store location. Okay. Now I'm going to hit enter and it is asking for the password. The password is Android, which is same for the all user. Okay. Now here you can see I can create the SHA1 certificate for my applications. So let me copy this from here and go back to the authenticating your client page uh, here. I'm going to paste my SHA1 signing certificate. Now click on create. It will create the project for us. Okay. Just for just to make sure download this configuration. We may need this in the future. So click on done. Now we are good to go. Now we can go to our Android studio and start implementing this sign in process.